Kellogg 252 and I got another review for you. So everybody know Younger Ace and Brick Baby from uh, the No Jumper Podcast LA. They done had they pass the words in the last couple days and it trickled down to North Carolina. So when it trickled down to North Carolina, y'all know I gotta speak up when it's something that's not positive for us. So Brick Baby was making a statement when he's saying like, yo, I got people in North Carolina that are Make it hard if you even move around. I got so y'all know North Carolina, we fuck with Young Ace. Like y'all know we fuck with Florida heavy as fuck. So I'm supposed to meet his people and like be in the presence of Young and Ace Saturday night in Fayetteville with my boy DJ Hussein. Shout out Hussein. And uh I get on my I get on my 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 my, my Instagram looking at niggas story, niggas. Y'all know it nigga. Man, yeah, fuck. Nigga, fuck Young and Ace. He can't come to North Carolina. Nigga, fuck Young and Ace. Yeah, nigga. Like, come on, bro. Then you got the fact that Brit Baby, like, he a big gangster of this worldwide type shit. And Young and Ace, one of them niggas that's really with the shit. So, if y'all bringing this shit to Fayetteville, and if anybody know Fayetteville, y'all know Fayetteville will knock your block off. They don't give a fuck if you rap. They don't give a fuck about, like, you being a star, none of that shit. Fayetteville will get on your ass. So, you got Young and Ace, one of the biggest drill rappers. You got Brit Baby, somebody tapped to the biggest game in the world. And you got Fedville, where they really with the shits. All this shit happened in one spot. Man, that shit sound like a state property to motherfucking surprise party. Like, man, hell no. It's like some shit gonna go down. So, I'm like, fuck. Like, y'all know, I'm trying to get a skit in. Trying to get me a skit with Young and Ace. Like, come on. I'm like... I can't do that now because if Brit Baby is saying that he could, he gonna stop some shit in North Carolina. That's what I'm assuming. Then that's gonna make it to the people that live here. We got to deal with it. You know what I'm saying? Like how we gonna stay in the areas we at when it's outside beef coming in here and messing up? We gotta live at like needs to come here, knock everything down in North Carolina. Then we got to be the ones to stay here and clean it up and deal with the the war in between time. So it's like, bro, nah. So I spoke out on it and. He hit my phone. He was on some cool shit. Brick baby hit my phone some cool shit. Like, y'all know them, them 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 OG California niggas, them older niggas, all of them talk like Snoop Dogg and shit. He like, yo, cuz, like, I ain't never had no problem with North Carolina, cuz, like, I got homies way down there all over the whole state. Nigga, Gastonia, North Carolina, nigga, like, yeah, I got niggas in Greensboro, Greenville, North Carolina, nigga. Like, I got niggas all over the whole state. And I show respect where I go, cuz, like, I don't do it. You know, you know how the Cali niggas do, but he keeping it real. So I was on the point where I'm like, bro, I ain't never seen you show no love to none of the artists down here, none of this stuff, and or, 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 or to the situation down here. So he get the naming people. Like, he definitely said, uh, he definitely said Clack Curry. That's the main one I remember. Like, the conversation going on so long, I remember every name, but he said, like, five or six dominant names. Uh, he also said Glock Boy. Um, he said, like, a few other people that he mentioned. You know what I'm saying? He said, like, a few other, like, big North Carolina people. So I'm like, you know what? He got to know something's going on. And he's like, bro, I ain't saying I want to start no trouble out there. I was just saying I got connects out there that, uh, that uh, like, make some shit hot or whatever, or they can, like, slow some shit down. I ain't no game banger. So I don't know so much about what be going on in that world. You feel me? So he'll let me know that. My only thing I cared about is... He just said, like, I ain't try to put no negativity in North Carolina. So once he told me that, I was man up to be like, okay. And I apologize for how I, you know what I'm saying, took the shit because I didn't hear your side. It won't know, oh, he scared me into apology. Because he didn't, like, come off on no, on no touch. He was coming off on some, I see what you're doing, and I fuck what you're doing. That's what he told me. He like, bro. You did right. So I was like, like he ain't like press me or nothing like, oh, like on some touch shit. He was just like, bro, I fuck with what you doing and I fuck with how you stand for your state. So let me just make my point of like, that ain't what I was on. And we on the phone, we talking and shit. And he like, bro, like I fuck with young age. That nigga hard as fuck. Like shh, that nigga be going crazy. And I'm saying the same shit like, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That's why I feel a certain type of way when you said that. And he basically, he corrected me and I just like, corrected what he was saying. I was like, yo, I understand that, okay, you won't saying that you'll put some pressure in North Carolina, but I'll let him know this is a state where niggas will go off for less 
So once you spark that little amount of energy, niggas is ready to take off, like, right then and there. So he like, damn, I didn't know that. Like, he's something like, bro, I didn't know because as far as, like, the people that I'm around, I told them, like, used to chill out type shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't don't be on that type shit because we don't want nobody getting hurt. We don't want, like, young and they some talk right now. Like, you don't want nobody getting hurt with that. You know what I'm saying? So that's where basically the story lies at where it's like they made their statements and North Carolina got brought into it. So I spoke up on the behalf of let's keep us safe because shit, like the niggas down here crashed for less. Then he hit me up and we had a grown man talk where he just like, bro, that's not what I was intending to do. I see you coming in and I respect how you move for your state. So let me just correct myself and then I corrected myself. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never asked me to do no apology. He ain't trying to use me as no getaway, clean card in North Carolina. What y'all got to realize is this. For everybody saying, oh, oh he trying to have connects in North Carolina. Nobody needs North Carolina, y'all. If we being for real, nobody needs us. They don't need us. So it's not like like young age don't need North Carolina. California and Brit, baby, they don't need North Carolina. Like, we need the representation that come around so we can, you know what I'm saying, boost our shit up. The same way how y'all know when uh the drill scene was going up with Chief Keith, like all the bigger artists was fucking with him, and then it took everybody else up. So we need that buzz because niggas come here and they fuck with us, but we ain't really found no way to, like, you know what I'm saying, make niggas really tap in. Like, besides when Stunner and the baby was around, that was like the, the biggest hope we had. So with me, it's just a fact though. I don't want none of us to have to be in no crazy situations because of no outsiders. But just like a manly conversation, he just let me know like, right, that wasn't my intentions. I'm like, all right, but you know what I'm saying? I apologize for that. And I've been telling y'all to just hold tight because I got a, a surprise situation. So I got invited to come get an interview with Brit Baby and he stand corrected. He was like, you know what, bro? I don't know a lot of North Carolina artists. So, shit, come out here and let us know, like, who the ones. So, he wanted to show who in North Carolina really, you know what I'm saying, really got that talent, who really won the ones. And I'm going to be the voice of the situation. You feel me? So, that's basically going on. So, when I say shout out Brit Ben, I apologize because the man giving us an opportunity to come to the biggest platform in the world and pop that shit. You know what I'm saying? Pop that shit. So street politics, I can't speak on none of that stuff because I don't know it. But as far as music, like Brit Baby is throwing the alley right now because I had came at him about how the situation going on about the state. But with that being said, who is some of the hottest artists in North Carolina that Brit Baby should know about or should put on no jump. Okay, Carolina, y'all gotta realize this too. Like, we be the main place like, don't nobody support us, don't nobody support us. But when the support don't come wrapped with a bow and a ribbon around it, now y'all niggas acting picky. Like, y'all got other options. When we really don't, only thing we got is what's going on here. So when other places coming out here and they want to show us some love or situation you got to know how to take this shit and filter the good with the bad we already know how to knock niggas heads off that ain't that's the easy part but how much of us know how to do business how much of us sit here and know how to negotiate a contract like come on man let's keep this shit real let's keep it honest we got work to do within ourselves. you know what i'm saying we can have all the people come show us love but if niggas ain't trying to mature enough to handle it, it's not going to work. Y'all think niggas going to trust pulling up to our blocks like they do in Detroit and like niggas doing in, in Chicago and all that shit when we can't even keep self-discipline within our state? You think niggas going to put their life on the line like that? No, they not going to do it, bro. They not going to do it. Ain't nobody going to try to work with niggas. They feel like these country niggas can backdoor me any day. You know what I'm saying? So, excuse me, bro. Excuse me. So we really just got to move on a core where we ready to take in and capitalize on the moves that could benefit us. You know what I'm saying?